Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to RC Insiders. Today we're going to discuss this little topic, do solar pool heaters actually really work? Well, uh, as a human experiment that I am, I got to tell you, they do guys. Uh, this is the, the solar pool heaters that I've built for our pool. Um, guys, if, you, if you're from the Midwest and Michigan, you know how short the pool season is up here. So if, if doing something like this can squeeze a week or two or a month longer in the pool, I'm all for it. Uh, guys, this project will take you approximately uh, two hours per, per unit, depending on you know how fancy you want to get. Uh, if you want to come and take a look at this, guys. Um, basically, all you got is we got a four bit, we got a, a sheet of plywood, we got some uh, some uh, half inch tubing, we got some fittings. Um, it's very simple, guys. You cover it with some plastic, plexiglass, uh, you know, whatever you want to cover it with. Uh, something that's clear but will help hold in heat. Um, uh, just give me a minute here, guys. Um, we're going to, I'm going to show you what the pool temperature actually is. I'm going to show you our setup here and then we'll go down to the end over there and we'll, we'll show you the temperature of the water actually coming out. So basically all I got guys over here on the end is I have a submersible pump over here. That's all we got right there. Basically we, what we do is we feed it through over here into our first unit. That little pump pushes everything through all these black coils and all this everything here is designed to draw heat guys, right? pushes it out one now you can for a long time guys we only had one and it did a fine job of heating the pool but you know adding two is better if you can add four you know if you can add six if, if you got a giant yard you want to put 10 of these things out here um, the total cost of building something one of these units like this guys is uh, you know inflation is high right now so you know you can still do it for around 150 bucks um, most expensive thing will be the pressure treated piece of plywood that you'll use um, it's a it's a really good investment guys if you've looked into the price of pool heaters that run on gas and electricity they're thousands of dollars up front guys and they're gonna cost you hundreds of dollars every month to run we can run we can run these we can run both of these solar units for literally I think if we broke it down it was like three or four cents a day um, it does get hot enough in the summer guys where you know sometimes these pool heaters will get it so hot that we just don't even run them because they work so good so uh, basically give me a minute here guys um, I'm gonna show you like the intake what the pool temperature actually is and then we'll take a, a walk around and show you a little bit more of the setup and we'll see what the temperature is coming out so give us a minute and I'll meet you over there all right guys, so we're gonna get a little more accurate of a measurement of, of the temperature of the water coming out. So basically, if you follow this hose, guys, coming out of our, our heaters here, what I do is I run the hose, I suck in at this end, and then I, I push through all the heaters, then I run a hose down here. Right here, guys, is where the pumps coming, my pool pumps coming back out. So I'll just run my my solar polar heater right down here. That way, it just pushes the the heat all everywhere back out into the pool. So we'll fill this up and see what we got going on. Guys, on nice sunny days like this, it does not take long to get your pool heated up, nice and hot. Um, been a really really good investment so far. So. see what kind of water we got coming out of here so this is going to be a much more accurate measurement of what we got turn this on and stick it in here and see what we got looks like about a hundred Keep going, baby. 106.9, 100, 107. So basically, 107 coming back out of the heater. So basically, the pool is right around 80. So 107. So that gives us about what 27 degree heat differential, guys. Um, obviously, when it's not super sunny, you know, it ain't gonna get quite as hot. But to have water coming in the pool at 80 
and coming out of our, our solar pool heaters over here at, at 107 guys uh, you can see it ain't gonna take that long to get the, the pool nice and warm and like I said guys always keep your pool covered with that solar cover it doesn't have to be nothing fancy or nothing just something to keep it covered because at night here especially up here it gets cold you you can lose you know 20 30 percent of the pool's heat just overnight so um, guys if you want to build one of these I'm gonna I'm right down here in the description I'm gonna link to the video where I built these it'll give you a complete parts list of everything you need I'll show you step by step how to do it um, there's even another one where I show you how to put on the covers um, it's not a big project guys um, don't be intimidated by it you're, you're not out here building you know the Taj Mahal or, or Noah's Ark or anything right we don't have to be perfect our only goal with solar pool heaters is to take our our cold pool water make it warmer than it is and put it back in the pool right it don't have to be pretty nothing special you can do it if i can do it you can do it we can do it together right all right guys i hope you're enjoying your summer um 80 degree pool water coming in 107 107 coming out so that's a nice little 27 degree uh temperature differential um, if you want to go bigger than we did go bigger right i would like to you know guys if you do let me know i'd like to see it if you want to just do one do one you know you're making hot water and you're putting it in your pool all right guys uh, enough of me babbling and i hope you're having a great summer or at least start to your summer um, summer is short here in michigan so make it sweet guys and until next time happy bashing